Welcome back. You're watching Power Lunch. Well, CNBC Africa and the Namibian Broadcast Corporation have concluded a strategic partnership that will see top quality business news content from the channel being broadcast across Namibia from September 2011. We cross now to Windhoek, Namibia, where Gary Alfonso, Managing Director of Africa Business News, and Albertus Achumub, who's di General Director at uh, NBC, are both standing by. Uh, thanks and welcome to you both. Gary, perhaps let's start off with you. CNBC Africa and uh, NBC, as I say, have just gone into partnership. Take us through the merits of a partnership like this. Partnership like this. Well, Alicia, as you know, CNBC Africa's mandate is to tell the um, story of Africa, the economic story and the business story of Africa, sub-Saharan Africa in particular. And we have a very strong presence in Nigeria uh, and in, in West Africa, as well as in East Africa, in Kenya and in Southern Africa, and particularly in South Africa at the moment. Uh, but the story, the economic story of Africa will not be complete unless we start including more economies and more countries where GDP growth uh, is exponentially uh, increasing as uh, the growth across the subcontinent increases. And the subcontinent, which, as you know, has been dubbed or called by the IMF as the third fastest economic growth area uh, in the world. So Namibia, naturally, uh, within SADC and uh, close to South Africa, uh, is a natural place to start, um, but uh, a strategic partnership with the Namibia Broadcasting Corporation allows us to get economic content and business content from the strategically uh, economic part of, uh, of Africa uh, onto, the, onto the network, onto CNBC Africa, to include Namibian views and also the dynamic economic and business story of this country uh, on the CNBC Africa network. Let's take a look, Albertus, then, uh, you yes. know, at uh, what kind of market demand you're actually catering to here with this endeavor on that end in terms of providing business news content and within what kind of competitive landscape? Um, this, is, this is absolutely critical for us. Uh, I think Gary has explained the, the reasons why this partner makes sense uh, from, from, um, from uh, CNPC Africa's perspective. From our perspective, it is important. A um, lot of the Namibian um, uh, economic sectors have seen tremendous growth uh, in the stories that have not been told outside of Namibia to date. Now, we believe that if Namibia is to be viewed as a, as a fantastic investment destination by foreign capital, which it is, um, the stories need to be told consistently, and we need to be focusing on the facts that inform uh, business decision makers to see this as an absolutely viable and a fantastic uh, location for any foreign direct investment. That's the one side of it. The other side is that across the continent, we've not done enough to talk to each other as Africans and to tell the stories of African economies on the move uh, so that even the intra-Africa trade begins to improve so that we don't only focus our energies um, and, the, and, and sell our countries as destinations for international capital. But I think South-South cooperation uh, can be enhanced through um, partnerships such as we forge now. And we have every intention to ensure that Namibian stories are told across the continent, not just in the sub-region. And hopefully beyond that, we can then also carry the same positive stories um, um, to, to a, a large, much larger audience beyond the African continent. Of course, Gary, this is just another step in, uh, you know, uh, CNBC Africa broadening its African footprint, so to speak. Where next when it comes to uh, some of the targets you're looking at right now? Well, I think before we go into next, it's perhaps important to uh, identify why it is that Namibia <clears throat> is such an important story, <clears throat> excuse me, for, uh, for CNBC Africa. It's because there are really important minerals uh, in, in Namibia, uranium, zinc, copper. These industries are critical industries and, and critical elements that the international investment community looks at. And uh, as a broader Southern African region, uh, you know, we think by including the Namibian story uh, into the SADC story, uh, we're not only doing South Africa and Namibia a great favor, but we're also giving a fair story and a fair reflection of the economic wealth and also of the economic opportunity in this part of the world, but simultaneously giving an educational message uh, and a message to entrepreneurs across the continent that, uh, as the Director General was already saying, that cross-Africa trade is increasing faster in sub-Saharan Africa than any international trade at the moment. So where to next? Definitely 
Um, SADC is a very strong focus for us at the moment. Uh, we've started with Namibia and we're very proud to say that this is the first one outside of South Africa in SADC. And uh, we're looking at Zambia and Mozambique and also Zimbabwe and Botswana going forward. But uh, we, this agreement with the NBC has certainly uh, helped us uh, lift the game and also increase uh, African content on this really important business network. Thanks for having joined us from that end. Of course, Gary Alfonso, MD at Africa Business News. And we were chatting to Albertus Altamub, who is Director General at NBC as well.